in essence, we bet that one of our teams would complete the required X Prize flights before the end of 2004 to make a really wonderful 2004 St. Louis celebration. Now, you might think that the insurance companies involved are wonderful friends at Aon, our brokers, and at XL Specialty Insurance, who are the underwriters for this policy, would be a little bit unhappy this morning. But that's actually not the case, because insurance companies are smart, and they always figure out a way to hedge their bet. The way they hedge their bet was by figuring out that if this competition was won, that it could possibly result in an entirely new space industry. 1972, when we stopped going to the moon, the dreams ended. The engine that had fueled us in that political race no longer went forward. But today, we are hooking our, our starship, if you would, onto a different engine. That of the dreams and the passions that all of us will have a chance to go. And so today, we begin a real launch the stars that will not end and all of you here today because of these people here will have a chance to go to the stars if you want know it in your heart that this is not an if it's a when we have lit the fuse irreversibly so with my colleagues here if i'd ask bob and greg i'll pull out the envelope to find out who won this prize <laughs> it's mojave aerospace ventures paul allen Bert Rutan, congratulations. We offer you this $10 million check. Very, very excited about the next 10 and 20 years, and thank you very much, Paul, for making that, making that possible. Paul, you wanna... Thank you again. Overhead is Bob Scherer and space pilot Mike Melville and Bob's beautiful starship, which was a uh, perfect design. The members of the New Spirit of St. Louis organization enabled the operation of the X Prize Foundation and, and gave us the original underpinnings for the Ansari X Prize. Like their counterparts 77 years ago, the members of the New Spirit of St. Louis organization were willing to risk their funds and their reputations to make the personal spaceflight revolution possible. here last night and um, got to see um, the uh, cut version, the cut video of the X-1 flight, the first X-Prize flight attempt. Uh, Mike, of course, arrived today, and we are honored to, to have him talk us through this telescope version <laughs> of the flight that has been put together by Dave Moore of Vulcan. So we finally got over the bump on the concrete. Remember that, Ron? Actually not. You'll hear uh, Matt Steinmetz talking about the speeds. We got off the ground, I think, about 115 knots. It's pretty high speed for our little aircraft. I'm sitting in the bottom there, uh, watching the ground go by about 15 inches away from my feet. And that's uh, actually a little bit uncomfortable. <laughs> Because if, uh, if Matt would accidentally pull the handle at that point, it would really hurt. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, this is about they think, oh, hey, Mike wants to be on his own here. But boy, are they wrong about that. <laughs> here we go. Okay, we dropped off, we arm it, and we fire it. Right away, you got three Gs on your back, and you got four and a half Gs eyeballs down. And that combination is a little bit uh, unnerving, to say the least. That's a great shot. That is unbelievable. The hardest part here is, I think Brian would agree, is maybe the first 15, 18 seconds. After that, you're, you're going very fast. There's not much you can do to change where it's going. So you just might as well sit back and enjoy it. <laughs> uh, unfortunately for me, just about the time I sat back to relax and enjoy it, 
Today, Paul's vision of commercial suborbital space travel is a reality. His vision has not only impacted the way we pursue space exploration, but it has also led him to winning the X Prize. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Paul Allen. Yeah. The year 2000 brought a lot of, a lot of differences. Uh, it, it brought the differences that uh, uh, the work that I had done studying rocketry, rocket engines, um, and uh, uh, made me made me relatively confident there there could be something that could be run a lot safer than normal rocket engines. And I need I know I knew that I needed a a. Uh, solution to the dangers of a vehicle that has to be carefully flown on re-entry in order to survive. I lost a good friend back in the, uh, the 60s with Mike Adams on the X-15. And uh, when I got to the point where I felt that that was possible, I had the enormous, enormous good fortune uh, to meet Paul Allen.